Let's talk weather now. So the weather forecast warns of an impending El Nino in less than a month. And Nairobians are particularly warned to prepare for three months of the floods. Well, we have seen the chaos caused by heavy rains in the city. And this latest warning revives some memories of the untold suffering and even death sometimes that happens. Forewarned is forearmed, we're told. But is it really? The memories of the loss and deaths caused by the infamous Naroka Nairobi floods are still fresh in the minds of many Kenyans. <laughs> Heziron Oyaro is one of the Kenyans who understand too well the effects of floods. This photo reminds him of the 11th day of May this year, when his wife Winfrida Kemunto was among the nine Kenyans who lost their lives when a wall collapsed and covered them at Fort Anyayo informal estate in South Bay, Nairobi. Reason, they are living on a river cause. <laughs> While that still lingers in Hezron's mind, on Monday, Nairobi County gave a warning of El Nino rainfall, expected end time mid-August. Predictions are that this will reach the strongest levels that we've never seen for the last uh, four decades. That means that that will be a serious event. News that the National Disaster Management Unit claims not to have an official communication about. Sasa, Abad Rasmi, ya kusiana na El Nino, while the stakeholders are at loggerheads over the possibility of the rains, the wall that killed nine Kenyans has been reconstructed. Businesses back to normal, perhaps another disaster in waiting. There are worries a worse accident might occur here in case the El Nino rains that are expected to be heavier than that experienced in 1997 comes to pass. Residents are blaming the county government for giving orders for them to be relocated without a proper plan, a script that could replicate in many low-altitude areas across the country. Heziron, who is now single-handedly taking care of his two children, one aged five and the other three, fears more for the timing of the expected El Nino, considering he leaves his house at 5 a.m. every day to go work in a certain bakery within the city. <laughs> The county government of Nairobi has been blamed for allegedly letting the who is who in the county to grab many river pathways and build mansions at the expense of the city plan. The discord in information between the county government of Nairobi, the meteorological department, the disaster management unit creates a gap and many questions as to how we are prepared in dealing with such like calamities in case they reoccur. Lofty Matambo, KTN News, Nairobi.